After more than 36 years, the long-awaited sequel to the 1986 movie is here and has everything we could possibly want, from drama to action and a little bit of nostalgia. And now the big question is, will there be Top Gun 3? What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? In the introduction, it's mentioned that the US Navy founded a fighter pilot training program in 1969. Although the recruits refer to it as Top Gun, the school's official name is Fighter Weapons School. On the ships where the pilots take off or make their returns, we see several recruits and Navy personnel. To prepare a younger generation of pilots for a mission to destroy a uranium facility, Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell is called back to his former flight school. The fact that one of the pilots is Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, the son of Maverick's late best friend Goose, who was killed during a flight exercise presents difficulties for Maverick. Despite tensions between the pilots, including those between Rooster and the arrogant hangman, Maverick is able to establish a connection between them. Following the death of his former rival colleague Iceman, the crew is ready to carry out the task after extensive training. The facility is successfully destroyed, but Maverick is shot down by the enemy. Rooster returns for him, but is shot down after saving Maverick. They locate an F-14 Tomcat and take off in it. When they run out of ammunition, during a dogfight with other opposing pilots, Hangman steps in to save them. Rooster and Hangman learn to appreciate one another once again, and Rooster gets along better with Maverick. Maverick also gets in touch with Penny and Old Flame. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Fans are eager to learn whether Top Gun 3 will happen after the success of Top Gun Maverick. This is the most often asked question. Fans are curious to find out the answer to this question. Probably we have a shot for Top Gun 3 if we look at the box office results of the most recent Top Gun film. The chances of a Top Gun 3 movie being made as it described by Brian Robbins, president and CEO of Paramount Pictures, Robbins agrees that the magnitude of Top Gun Maverick's success, especially given how long it took to release after the original movie, has been the biggest surprise of the year for many. Even though Tony Scott's Top Gun has been out for 36 years, there's still a strong desire for fast-paced aerial action. Therefore, it surprises us too that Paramount hasn't brought up a sequel yet. Robin stated in a Variety interview that he doesn't want to speculate on a Top Gun 3 movie and is pleased to just let Maverick keep the spotlight. He expresses his satisfaction with the success of the movie without making any mention of any future plans for a sequel. So if the third movie happens, we hope that Paramount won't wait another 36 years for the next sequel. Maybe it would happen within the next four to five years, once Cruise has finished the work on the anticipated Edge of Tomorrow sequel and cleared his Mission Impossible schedule. But these are only speculations, we'll just have to wait for an official announcement. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. There are currently no arrangements being made for Top Gun 3. According to documents and sources, Tom Cruise has not commented on the rumors swirling around. The audience will undoubtedly enjoy seeing another part of the film. Tom Cruise's interest in Top Gun 3 is the main unanswered question though. Top Gun is difficult to imagine without the man himself, but you can never be too sure. So is Tom Cruise willing to return as Maverick once more? According to Miles Teller, he has spoken with Tom Cruise about creating a third Top Gun film. He told Entertainment Tonight, I've been having some conversations with him, Cruise, about it. We'll see. However, Teller believes it's ultimately up to Cruise whether Top Gun will be made into a trilogy. Top Gun Maverick also introduced new characters such as Miles Teller's Rooster, Glenn Powell's Hangman, and Jennifer Connelly's Penny, all of whom could return for a third Top Gun. Since Teller recasting Rooster as Maverick's new wingman seems like a no-brainer, Top Gun 3 could also add new pilots to join Maverick in the air. Perhaps Miles Teller's Rooster will be the main focus of Top Gun 3 if it does happen. Sadly, Val Kilmer's Iceman was killed so we won't see him. Well, maybe some flashback, who knows? If Cruise is on board, then that is it, we suppose. After all, without him and his character, this world wouldn't exist. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are, Captain. Fans are currently waiting to hear more about Top Gun 3. Yes, you read that correctly. The audience has requested another sequel. So let us not waste any more time and get right into the main topic of the day. Pete Maverick Mitchell might make a return for the third film and train a fresh batch of recruits. Another possibility is that Maverick will reunite with the first sequel's pilots, such as Rooster, Miles Teller, and Hangman, Glenn Powell, to face a completely different threat. As Admiral Kane, Ed Harris, 
discussed replacing human pilots with a drone armada in the most recent film, the sequel may also feature Maverick and his crew proving their worth against these pilotless machines. As there have been no story indications, this is all just rumors. One thing is for certain though, if a third film is made, you can count on seeing plenty of aerial action as Maverick and the crew take to the sky. Although it's unlikely that Maverick and Penny's romance will be your primary motivation for purchasing movie tickets, you can certainly expect a continuation of their relationship. What story remains to be told? Captain Pete Mitchell appeared prepared to enjoy a peaceful retirement alongside his one true love, Petty Benjamin, at the end of Top Gun Maverick. He appears to have finished his job with the Navy, and he has already established himself as the oldest combat pilot in history. Filmmakers may certainly tell more tales about Rooster, Hangman, Phoenix, and the other aspiring pilots, but do fans want a Top Gun movie without Cruz as the main character? More significantly, if Cruz, producer Jerry Bruckheimer, and director Joseph Kaczynski decided to create another movie, would the Navy still provide the same level of exceptional cooperation? According to some reports, the initial half of the film was developed to promote the Navy, but this is completely false. The rumor was denied by Tom Cruise himself. All of this is to imply that there is no clear answer for how a third movie may reconnect us with Pete at Top Gun. It seems highly unlikely that the pilot of Top Gun 2's He Has to Train a New Generation of Pilots will be repeated. A third movie, however, might address Maverick's potential for retirement and how he might cope with everyday life. If Cruise isn't on board for the third Top Gun, maybe Teller will replace his spot? Can you imagine a Top Gun movie without Cruise? Hardly, but not impossible. Maybe it's time for him to move on and let the younger generation continue the training and the story. Sure, a glimpse of him here and there won't hurt, but as we said before, there are a lot of possibilities of an old character's flashback. The team had succeeded in completing the major flying mission by the end of the film. Maverick fulfilled his obligation, finally he has left the wings, and at last he returns to Penny, and the two of them start on their awaited happy journey. We would love to see him somewhere retired, perhaps some tropical island with Penny by his side. Rooster might visit him from time to time for some advice or help, or just to catch up. Maybe the third movie will be called Top Gun Rooster? We don't know yet. It's only speculation for now. Right now, we should just enjoy the second movie and wait in hopes of some encouraging news. On a related note, do you have any hopes for the future of Top Gun? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.